new project we've taken on apart from that one which many of you have probably seen floating around on our social media love it i hate it i love it but anyway as you know we mentioned this quite a lot we don't really do customers work here unless they're friends of ours like we did the wheel pros van and various other people or well, if it's something special and it's something that we want to get involved in we just don't have time is the answer we do lots of regular suspension but most of our time is taken up in product development and distribution so every now and again somebody comes to us and they say that this is an idea that they've got and could we get involved and that's what happened here so this belongs to 40 winks bed so when ryan contacted me and said he wanted a promo van for their products i kind of thought he'd want a van to put a 40 weeks bed in because that makes sense doesn't it but no that's not what he wanted he wanted a van that they could use to put the beds on the back to take the shows and to deliver stock in so that was where the idea came in of a docker or a single cab ryan had spent a while just hunting around the internet trying to find one that he liked or was suitable and there was just nothing really there he'd been searching for one and not found anything and i'd always had this idea that i'd really like to get hold of ex forestry commission docker they're already green and bag it and do loads of cool crazy stuff to it not facelift it keep it original so i started helping ryan search and lo and behold popped up on ebay was this forestry commission green docker it's actually not this color because ryan's had it repainted since underneath the forestry commission color was another green a vw green which he kind of preferred it was a little bit less brownie i think in the end they went for more of a porsche green i don't know the exact color put ryan in contact with steve at love for paintworks we had a chat about what we thought would work and what we thought was cool everybody knows we love commercial bumpers well i hope you do by now so the plan was to keep it t5.1 keep it original add a commercial bumper go for commercial looking wheels bag the hell out of it make it nice and low do something pretty sexy with the interior and kind of take it from there so ryan then got chatting with neil the guy that does all our trimming and he's in the process of retrimming all the seats in like a really cool vintage brown leather compliment that ryan had shown me some pictures of a porsche he really liked which was this similar green with bronze wheels so we were talking about wheels and that's where we decided to put some of the navis holders on it to keep that kind of industrial commercial look but go bronze and we also wanted to use this to help launch our new solar suspension air kit that we've been working on with a couple of other well-known brands but i'll go through more details on that later we've put it on a couple of the vans it's on my van but we were kind of adapting it and changing it improving it along the way and this has what will be the final finished version of the solo air suspension so here's the plan keep it commercial ryan's still got the bed he's doing some galvanizing it painting various bits that's going to come to us so we know where we can cut it and tub it when it goes on air suspension this thing's going to go into the workshop mike is going to get the front tent off do all the front cutting do the arches cut out all underneath everything you need to do to get it low battery box and ecu rays no need for a subframe raise i don't think on this we're not going to go massively overboard on it because this air suspension kit goes pretty damn low anyway and then fit the solo air we're going to put bonhoeff's management on it you may have seen that on our dutch van so i spoke to Heiss over at Bonhoeff when I've been over in Holland quite a lot and he's really keen for us to try his management because it's really popular over there, fully built in Europe. Yeah, we decided to put it on this to give it a go. I'll just take you in and show you a few bits here. So the main features of what's going on it. So this is the new solo air suspension kit. Again, we'll go through that in more detail. Navis 20 inch holids. You'd have seen these before but these ones have been done specially in bronze staggered setup eight and a half front ten rear and then we get asked this all the time this is a t6 alpine speaker upgrade kit and it is for a t6 not a t5.1 so just looking at it outside as you can see it's been off to steve it's had a full respray in the very similar green to it was before the bed's been repainted as well that's all been done in black so it looks nice and clean the inside's been done the lower dashes have been painted the door cards have all gone dark everything's all off for us to do all the soundproofing and insulation and all the other bits the cab's been done at the minute it's just a shell while we're stripping it tanks in here one off management is in here but 40 wink has always wanted a vehicle he can take to shows with pride so that's what we want to do to here we kind of want to make it a real statement of vehicle something that really stands out on social media for him to help marketing but also something he can actually practically use put the family in it five six seat vehicle carry stock in the back deliver beds to us deliver beds to other people but actually use it as a marketing tool i'm glad that me and ryan had a very similar vision really when we were talking about what we wanted i kind of said what i like and he was like yeah that's exactly what i'd like and I almost feel like i've been given free reign because what ryan's ideas are the same as my ideas and uh, the plan with how this is going to go but anyway the, the vehicle is a really nice stock vehicle really tidy seriously well maintained as the forestry commission stuff does got sensible miles on it it's nice and tidy throughout just needs a few little upgrades internally like speaker upgrades and stuff and trim the interior so it's a nice comfortable vehicle to be in set the suspension off with something nice and comfortable i'm going to hand you over to the lads in the workshop mikey's going to put it in do a load of cutting work ready to get it that bit lower right update of where we're at with the 40 wink stocker so you should have seen mikey and over the weekend doing all the cutting work so he's going to explain to you what he's done there and why we do that to get it that little bit lower here's a couple of other bits we're just going to show you that we're fitting on it now this is our now solo branded compressor shh shh. 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 shh
we've been doing these for a couple of years now. We've had no warranty faults to them. They've been absolutely amazing. And we've tried them all and I guarantee you this is the quietest compressor that's currently on the market. So it's having a pair of those in there. Some people fit one, but we like to fit two. And then this is our new Solo tank. So Solo TNK. Seamless aluminium tank, flat finish. I mean, there's other people that do them in silver, but we put the black underneath. It's a lot more stealthy. As you'll see, there's three ports on one side and only one on the other. This is for mainly for transporters. You can use it in a whole wide range of vehicles, but in transporters, it's better to keep the ports, or most people use the ports only on one side because the exhaust is on the other side. So it just stops any airlines getting hot, any fittings getting hot. The normal size is the 24 inch for six and a half. But like I say, it's great, great for mounting the transport inside transporters or any other car. So that's, that's what we would use. Adjusted what everybody else currently does with the tank to make this one that's dedicated for transporters, but you can use it in all different applications. So that's the Solo TNK. That's available on our website, as are the compressors. So let's take you and show you what Mikey's been doing over the weekend. Our struts are in. So that's our new strut. I'll probably tell you more about this in another video, but this is our new strut based on the Solo Shock. So it's a great riding coil over, plenty of lift, plenty of drop. To get this to its full potential of lows, this doesn't need to be done on every other van. We have cut away the wing bracket, again with the, the seam that goes down the middle. We've cut and welded that up. There's no ECU battery in there currently because we're raising that. Mitch has made some mounts for it to space it up. But again, we've cut and welded that higher up. It might, I mean, it looks a bit textured at the moment. That's just because it's got a load of seam sealer covering, covering the welds. But lovely new welds we've taken photos of them before and then under sealed up so it's as strong as it would be and, and under sealed so it's going to last so that's been done on both sides and as mikey said there that's the new solo air suspension kit so based on the solo damper with a completely redesigned bag system and plate but we'll go through that in more details when we can do a comparison we're going to go over and visit lowdown transporters and explain the difference between that and this kit start with the compressors we've mounted them on our brackets that we've got here um, just because of this particular vehicle you can't mount them in a normal place like on a van where you could you know mount them in through the floor there isn't one so we've done the brackets there spaced them up so they're under the bed well out the way of any debris we bring the airlines across through using a particular clip and then we rivet them in to then seal the metal work so there's no corrosion to worry about we've got the rear bags in place again this is our new design they're similar to what you have seen on the market but we're using a different kind of rubber it's a little bit softer and we'll ride it a little bit better. So these are the Solo Shorter Air dampers that are already available on the market just to complement the bag to get it that extra bit lower. And the tank is all mounted inside in this, isn't it? Yeah, just the tank's going inside um, under the rear seat. And also the management, the Bonhoff management. Yeah, we're using a Bonhoff management. This is something that's new to us. So we're going to give that a go and see what we think. Excellent, so there we go. Lots has been going on that we've not really filmed just because it's not really particularly interesting. There's a whole list of work there that the lads are doing, but it's starting to come together now, so it'll get more interesting. So we'll film some more bits as it goes together and then show you the end result. Ryan and the crew are here. So Ryan's brought his whole family to collect the docker. So let's take you inside. Pre-branded look. You take you inside. Out. Open up. Come in and have a look. Can you remember it? When I brought it home, when we first got it. That's unbelievable, isn't it? That yeah. is absolutely... What do you think? It's very awesome. <laughs> Good. So it's got the new first van with the final finished prototype, well, finished production solo air suspension kit on it. Mega. 
load of extra cutting work, which you'll see when you get to watch the video about the mic he's done. We've done a battery box and ECU raise. Because we've had to remove the air box, we've put a cone filter in there just to allow us to get it to sit even lower. So obviously there's a Transport HQ head headlights, solo sunstrip, solo air freshener is a must. Oh. You supplied us with the seats, which as I said previously, when I saw a picture, I wasn't a massive fan, but now they're here oh, and in. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. Look, they look amazing. They're finished off so well. Steering wheel's done that you supplied. Alpine Halo 9 head unit, which is the new one with the wireless CarPlay. So we adapted the T6 speaker kit to work with the T5.1. So did a bit of cutting and made the grill kit work. So it's got the Alpine speaker upgrade kit in here as well. Gator, which Neil, made for you. Neil's done an amazing job with the seats. They're so well finished. Transporter HQ candy grey gear stick. as must just to finish that off and then we'll go through the air management in a minute. You obviously supplied the, supplied the bed. That yeah. looks so much better doesn't it, it than when you first dropped off. Yeah, yeah. Management wise, so underneath the seat here, underneath the rear seat you've got your seamless tank. You've got two quiet compressors underneath here so you're not going to annoy the neighbours when you're airing up and driving off in the morning. Don't worry about that, they don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> so your door, your door controller here for your Bonhoeff management, I'll run you through how to use that probably when the cameras aren't on, but yeah, yeah, sure. we've set it to rise on start so as soon as you turn the ignition it'll lift up and then you just air out when, when you go. I'm completely well, speechless, it. mate. Honestly, I can't believe it's the same. <laughs> like everybody here, like Mitch right. wants it, I want it. It's, Everyone it's absolutely unbelievable i love it i absolutely love it it drives so well with the, this air setup we took it for a drive who's got the key <laughs> <Don't say that>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. lift itself up so there we go that's done ryan and the family heading off i think it was a success they all seem to like it we love it here i've said to ryan if he ever sells this i want first refusals on buying it or either me or mitch because mitch is like in love with this thing he doesn't want it to go thank you very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it please do like the video it means a lot you like it it shows it to more people share it with anybody else that might be interested in green dockers or bronze wheels or just generally anybody that's interested in cool stuff that happens on transporters or the new solo air suspension coming very soon keep watching our channel subscribe to the channel for loads of more cool videos i'm now going on holiday for two weeks so there might be a bit of a break although we do have one explaining everything you need to know about suspension while well, ryan's just having a lesson on how to use his air suspension as always thanks for watching <laughs>